All right, what's going on? I have Eugene here. What a what a treat! It's been a long time. Ready to say hi to everybody. What's up, everyone? All right, it's the first time putting a gi on in about eight months. That's right. Now he's a doctor too. He's a doctor of physical therapy. You got a DPT. Huge accomplishment. Thank you for gracing us with your presence. Honored to be on your channel. <laughs> All right, today I'm going to show you some advanced judo concepts, right? Things that sort of people already know, but it has to be said. Uh, it's sort of like the unspoken rule that all the advanced guys do, but they don't really distinctly teach it, like explicitly teach it. So I'm going to show you guys some of this, right? So 50-50, okay, 50-50 lapel sleeve, lapel sleeve, okay? Adjusting for position, right, to gain an advantage, and then going into a technique Everyone also already does this, okay? So now we're going to be even position, attack, adjust position. Slight adjustments, okay? Now you know what he's going to want to do is he's going to want to readjust, okay? By rolling his shoulder and bringing this hand down, okay? So now he's going to want to do this. I already know this is going to happen, all right? A lot of people just lock up 50-50 and then start blasting Osoto, Harai Tayo, right? Not really such a good plan, right? So I go, Kouchi, adjust. He's going to want to readjust. That's what I do my Sasai here, okay? Because I know he's going to want to bring my arm down, okay? I've adjusted right off that Kochi, right? And I'm anticipating him pushing down on this arm to roll his shoulder. I know this arm is going to go up because he wants to bring his hand up. And that's my timing to break him going Sasai here, okay? So once I'm breaking his posture, as he's regaining his balance back to neutral, that's when I improve position or attack. Right? So this is the sort of advanced concepts that go maybe two or three steps deeper into just grabbing, adjusting and attacking, or grabbing, attacking and adjusting. Right? It's two or three steps deeper. Right? And then uh, these are some of the things that I see some of the be very best, the high level guys are doing all the time. Right? So 50-50, I go Kochi adjust. As he's readjusting, I go Sasai here, adjust, Ochi, and there's my turn throw. Massive, massive turn throw. Okay, going for that takedown, right? Something of that nature. I could be 50-50 and fully admit, know that he's going to start adjusting for position, right? And then I use that to go break his posture. And now, look, I go coach you adjust, okay? And now I'm in dominant position here, right? And a lot of the times in this position when I'm fully dominant, I'm very, very aware that Eugene might take this chance to go for a bailout throw. Okay, but before I do this, I start throwing some fakes around to show him all the stuff that I potentially do as I'm breaking his posture. Okay, one of the most common, common, common bailout throws here is going to go Tomonage this way. Whoa! I bring my knee up, and now I'm already in passing position. Right, I'm in Kesuka time. Right. So those are some advanced judo concepts using off balance improving position, fakes, and attacks, right, to anticipate the person, and then being two or three steps ahead of the person, right? One of my favorite setups, right? Kochi cut the lapel. He wants to return his hand to the lapel, okay? Use this mo motion to go so it, right? Because he didn't want to return the hand, right? Of course, this alone is not enough. You need to know how to grip, okay? That's another advanced technique or a tip that I think you all should know and all should incorporate, okay? Bow, right side versus right side, sleeve, lapel. Once I have this one-handed situation, I want to start challenging the posture and attacking one-handed, okay? If I can break the posture here, fake Ipon Sainagi, and now all of a sudden, he's very worried about the Ipon Sainagi, so he drops his hips a little bit, okay? That's my chance to go over the back here, okay? Now I have over the back, two hands on, Generally speaking from here, he's going to look to go for a bailout attack again, Tomonage, right? And then I bring this knee through, and now I'm attacking the Waza, right? I'm keeping him where I want him, right? So that is using grip fighting tactics, one-handed attacks, to gain the two-handed position, okay? And once you can gain this Ipontenagi position here, now you can do faking Kochi movement, okay? He's going to want to improve position or go for a bailout, staying ahead of that. And bombarding my opponent with my offense, that is sort of the advanced concepts of judo. 